Hello, my name is Sophie Lisa. I'm an artist with Baltic, and welcome to this episode of Meet Me Online. Today, we are going to be making magical circle symmetry drawings just like this one. Today's activity is inspired by the Judy Chicago exhibition that was on at Baltic and works of Judy's just like this one. This piece, called Let It All Hang Out, uses a circle and symmetry to make a beautiful circular repeat pattern that somehow just gives this feeling of magic. So let's make our own. Grab your chalk, get some pavement and let's get drawing. So here we are with a bit of pavement and some chalks and we're ready to get going. So the first thing to do is take your white chalk and very lightly do a circle best you can. Remember just to press on lightly at this stage because we're just doing our outlines. Once you've got a circle shape, we're gonna draw across. So one line that way and a line across and see if you can get these lines in the middle best you can like that so that the cross crosses over in the middle of your circle just best you can now we're going to do another cross diagonally through the first cross one that way and then we're going to do it on this side and do one this way until we've got something like this that looks like a pizza with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments in it, just like that. Now, using different colour chalks, we're going to do some patterns in here. Now, whatever happens in any one of these sections, because it's going to be symmetrical, Anything that happens in one of them must happen in the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one, just like that. I might actually turn these into love hearts. Then, using, an, oh, using another colour, I might make a wavy line like this, as if this is a stem going to each love heart. So what should we do next? I think I'm going to do something on this line now, which is interesting. So I think I'll do a droplet shape like that. And because I've done it on that line, I'm gonna go around every line doing a droplet shape. So there we go. Oh, that's looking quite interesting now. What else can we do? Well, I think I'm gonna color in my droplets. I'm just going to colour them in purple for now. Wow, look at that. I think I'm going to colour in the hearts too. Oh, there, look at it now. So now I think I might do like a kind of yellow arc shape from each purple droplet to each purple droplet like that oh it's looking lovely now and i think i may color in these sections with yellow there wow look at it now so I feel like I need to put some of my details back in a bit. So I'm gonna just do that, especially with this green. And then I feel like we need some more colors up in here. So I'm thinking to maybe do some orange in the middle, like that. And I think I might do some orange around the outside and I feel like my hearts need a bit more definition so I might go around them in blue there right now 
I think I might do some more blue in these gaps all around the edge. I'm going to do a big circle around the edge and I'm going to colour these bits in blue too. Wow, it's looking beautiful. I'm just going to go over some of my work again and make it stand out more. And you can give it a blow to see how it looks. Wow, look at that. I think one more touch. I'm going to put some white dots in the purple. <sighs> wow, and there we have it. A magical, symmetrical circle drawing. And all we needed was some chalks and some pavement to chalk on. So, there we go. How did your magical symmetry circle drawing go? I would absolutely love to see it. And if you want to share it with me, everybody at Baltic and others, you can take a picture of your drawing, upload it to social media and add the hashtag Baltic Connect. I can't wait to see how it went for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this time here together today and that we will see you here again soon. Have a great day and keep creating. Bye.